Welcome to this video which provides a basic overview of the non-intrusive or non-invasive surveying methods used to investigate and record archaeological sites and features. Completing a non-intrusive survey allows for an understanding of an archaeological site without unnecessary damage to potential buried archaeology. Surveying may identify features otherwise missed and can be conducted to produce an accurate plan of a site and its topography before an excavation. Unlike excavation, the surveying process can be repeated and enables an accurate recording of the features and finds to help facilitate the interpretation of an archaeological site. All surveying depends on relative positions, expressed by distance and angle, and used within archaeology as a process to measure features, determine their positions and portray them on a plan or a map. The accuracy of a survey will depend on the surveyor's technique, equipment, time and resources available. For instance, a larger area with thick vegetation will require more people and take longer. Traditional methods and equipment might prolong the task but are more cost effective than using modern electronic devices. Field walking can be a cheap, fast and efficient way to locate and record surface archaeology by walking across recently ploughed fields to locate artefacts and identify areas for further investigation. A plane table survey, although basic, can provide a close observation of the ground surface and is effective at recording buildings, large earthworks and interpreting small sites and topographic features. Conducting a plane table survey allows plotting the site plan and field observations to be conducted simultaneously. This is done by hand, plotting measurements at horizontal and vertical angles. Once the different measurements have been recorded, greater detail can be drawn using hasha symbols, lines and annotations to better depict and convey the detail of archaeological features. The use of an electric distance measurer or total station Record horizontal distance and height difference and make the surveying process more efficient by plotting the information onto the device which can then produce digital results such as 3D ground models. Global Positioning System, or GPS, although expensive, is extremely accurate and a high speed process which allows an archaeological feature's position and shape to be plotted and recorded by simply walking around them. A geophysical survey is a search for subsurface archaeological features by means of electronic resistivity measurement, magnetometry and ground penetrating radar, with results used to either identify a feature or plan the approach of an excavation. Resistivity works by inserting probes into the ground at regular intervals, measuring electronical resistance within the soil's moisture and can locate buried features such as walls, masonry, metalled surfaces, ditches and pits. Magnetometry detects anomalies in the Earth's magnetic compounds and can detect buried features like ditches, pits, brick and burnt materials such as ovens and hearths. Magnetometry can produce quick and impressive results but is not very effective in urban areas. Ground penetrating radar, although expensive, can be used in urban areas and is capable of creating three-dimensional images of buried features by emitting a radio wave through the ground and calculating the length of time the wave bounces back. Soil samples from the surface level may also be analysed for their element composition. This is a method known as geochemical survey, which can be used to identify specific past land use. For example, a soil area high in phosphate levels indicates livestock had been present, or an area high in calcium content suggests human burials exist on site. All of these surveying methods can help archaeologists locate, understand, identify and record archaeological sites and features without damaging potential archaeology and can be used as an important process to strategically plan intrusive investigations such as excavation. Further discussions regarding these subjects will appear in future videos. Please subscribe to Simple Archaeology and thanks for watching.